Hello everyone and welcome to our next eventual Steam Railway update here for the Haunty Steam Railway. I do apologise for the delay for the next update because I've been that busy over the summer since the mainline steam front and the Heritage Railway Network have been getting back to normal while we're coming out of this dreadful pandemic here in England. But since now everything is opened during the time of this video was made <clears throat> well a lot more progress has been made on this layout and we have had some significant runs over the festive period as the first clip of a few special filmings i've done since the last time i spoke to you will be coming up very shortly anyway here's the first video clip i've done on the layout i don't think this has ever been attempted before but if you know someone who has done this project I'm about to show you now, please leave a comment in the please leave a comment below. For now, enjoy the first bit of the Hannity Steam Railway update. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the very first time the Hannity Steam Railway has hosted an event like this. I'm not sure no one else has ever attempted this before, unless if you say Jennifer Kirk has suggested or even have done this so jennifer kirk if you're watching this hello from me from harmony railways <clears throat> now for the big event for our first ever steam in lights from the count of five four three two one and we have light of the steam railway light steam in lights similar to that at the paint of the dartmouth railway who first introduced it and is followed by other heritage railways in the heritage rail network such as north norfolk the seven valley and the north yorkshire moors and the great central and recently the midhands railway who has introduced the system <clears throat> and it proved to be a massive crowd puller a massive revenue money earner so, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, in the hands of our engine, full double five nine six Bahamas, let's have our first steam in the lights working. So that was very magnificent, wasn't it? Steam in lights. I don't think anyone has ever attempted it before. 
but uh, in a moment we we're going to show you how show you how exactly how it was done I don't think anyone's ever attempted before anyway we do have also as well some of my engines were out running at my friends at the Rainhill Model Railway Club which I'm a member of during the recent uh, open weekend at the St Helens Transport Museum the Northwest Museum of Road Transport uh, we mostly it's the DCC locomotives I have fitted which notably the Stanya Mogul represented by the Seven Valley Railway and the twin sound fitted P2 used to be Cock of the North one of Sir Nigel Gresley's experimental locomotives but now it's got redone to 2007 Prince of Wales that's the real one is be currently being built in Darlington at Darlington Locomotive Works at the same place where the A1 Trust volunteers and contractors have built Tornado from scratch. So without further ado I'll show you some clips on how those two have progressed on the DCC layout which is currently under construction at the Rainhill Model Railway Club. Thank <laughs> you. 
Side, wasn't it? <clears throat> nice sound. It was actually a factory built, factory fitted sound chip from Hornby at the time of the P2. This bike had the, the old whistle from Duke of Gloucester being put in on that one. Anyway, for our final clip, of I sh final clip I show you before I show you the progress on the layout, we have some exclusive filming and photo shots of Hornby's newest release of the Sir Nigel Grizzly's experimental, another one of his, the W1 10,000 Hush Hush, or the Flying Saus Sausage, as the railwomen called it. Now, we have some exclusive video shots of it during this time during testing from one of our members of Rain Hill, which is privately owned, of course. So, enjoy the W1. Magnificent. Of uh, Hornby's latest release of the W1 10,000, one of Sinai another of Sir Nigel Grezzi's experimental locomotives. Now, without further ado, I'll show you the update and some running session on the layout of the Harnessy Steam Railway. So, this is how i done the steam and the lights and how it was put on. Well, obviously, these are the two power units. Obviously, up powered by two, two AA batteries from Panasonic, uh, pulled on this uh, low wagon, as you can see here. Normally, the wagon I use for the Tiffle Thunderbolt inspection train which I know Rapido Trains UK are doing an actual model of the inspection train with the, oh, what was this fireman's name? Please, I've really forgotten the fireman's name. If you do know, please leave a comment down in the description below. So, and this was a very complex operation to fit on. Obviously, like Christmas lights fitted on with sellotape. Now you do bear in mind with the very tight radius curves as this on the layout, please leave plenty full of space so they can stretch out when going on the curves because the mistake was was done during testing and it has to be very careful obviously with the switches on like so well those are the main lights down there and these are the colored lights coming on there we go and obviously when in darkness I was about to show you now They do curl up very nicely indeed. <clears throat> right, just put the light back on. Switch these lights off. Yeah, I was intending to do just the coloured lights, but unfortunately I didn't have enough to do the locomotive itself. But the white lights, there was enough to do the locomotive, which I've used the 
LMS Jubilee Bahamas. I know it looks very messy, but it's only ideal when it's running in darkness and stuff like that. It's only when running in darkness where it really comes alive. So don't worry about that. All this will be taken off very gently because you got this is one of the most ambitious model locomotives that has been heavily modified thanks to a mate of mine, Steve at Grimy Times, who's done the work for me. Yeah, so this was very complex. Meanwhile, for the rest of the layout, since we last spoke to you, this is the road that I have done, although it does look a very good mess, which happily, hopefully I'll be resolving this issue over this winter. When, although the road markings you see there is very good, but it's just the markings for the footpath where it looks, and the bus stop markings for the footpath and the bus stop sign. So look a really right mess on my first attempt. Hopefully that will be addressed over this winter and also to be acquiring some buildings. Now I know these are Hornby's original buildings. Nobody as you see out in the countryside and stuff like that. And they will be replaced over the time being. And where these where this fire applies, this is where it's supposed to be a fire station. You see here. And obviously with these walls here, I'm gonna be acquiring some more of them over this winter hopefully <clears throat> and since I won't be filming much trains over this winter as you saw my, my latest compilation video engine and coach moves they were my very last so there will be no more filming of engine and support coach moves on the main line anyway enough of that let's have a look down at the museum part this is where it's supposed to be a bus depot I'll just get away from the light yeah, this is uh, an outside version of the Hannity Transport Museum. There, yeah. obviously we've got a truck there and some coaches, some vintage buses, and two steam locomotives that are not intending to operate anymore. The, uh, the limited edition model of the Backman B1, the very old version, 1306 Mayflower, and the Backman A4, 60008 Dwight D. Eisenhower, as you can see there. Which is not intending to operate. Yeah, so enough of me talking for a while. I'll just get this Christmas tree light on. I know it's out of scale, but we are in Christmas. And let's see some trains running. And that concludes our next update for the Harnessy Steam Railway here at Harnessy Railway HQ. Of course, don't forget, if you want to check out any more Harnessy Rail Steam updates, make sure you hit the like button, turn the subscribe, turn the notifications on, so you'll be right up to date for the latest contents or videos, I would like to call it. And um, hope to see you all next time in the next edition of the Harnessy Steam Rail update. Thank you all very... Oh, there is one more thing. Uh, the Hannity Rail Journey vlogs, if you probably wonder where they've all got to, well, don't worry, there has been a lot of filming progress.
filming taking place and hopefully they'll be taken going live in January in 2022. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and take care. Until next time, goodbye.